Um, we just yeah, strapped ourselves in. And I remember the day they marched this wall. How you guys holding up? Yeah. Hold strong? Yep. Yeah. Right on. Is the library secure in your mind? Yeah. Good. You guys got most of the books out? They're all out. You know, so now it's just a matter of making a statement? Pretty much. At yep. this point of the game? Yeah. That's, uh, that's basically the whole game right now, now isn't it? What about uh, the, the safety of the yurt? Um, we're going to make sure it stays safe. We are they going to let you dismantle damage. it and take it away properly? Um, we hope it can come to that. We uh, hope it all. Like, isn't the union going to come and bring trucks so you guys can take it apart and all that? Or? Um, Hopefully. I'm not sure as to what's happening with that at this point in time. Oh, okay. I guess you guys will last on the chopping block. Ah, uh, so to speak, I guess. We've still got lots of support. Right on. Well, we we're here. Own. We're here to support and we're uh, spreading the word. Yeah, Thank man. you. Thank so. you. Sorry, flashing riser. Oh, it's okay. It wouldn't be the first time. Any, uh, <laughs> any words of wisdom you want to share with the uh, people at large? Never give up. Don't give up hope because hope is only the one. Yeah. Don't give up hope because hope is one of the only things that will actually keep you going. And uh, if this was a newspaper and you were the editor, what would the headline be? Uh, the headline would be... The few stand amongst the many. Very nice. You know what, this really honestly separates the boys from the men is what I think. And what change do you want, ultimately? What do you want to see? Well, we still want to see a better global... Global change. We want to see. I want to see equality for everybody, any person, any homeless person, any gay person, any black person, any Muslim person. Doesn't matter what race, creed, or sexual orientation you are. I don't care. I want equality for all. Or culture. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I've seen so much racism, so many bias, so many just stupid decisions that are made because of the color of the, your skin or how much money you have in your wallet or. Or how much, or how much the code on your back costs. So it's an issue of inequality. Yes. And uh, I think what we need is uh, opportunity. And I notice there's a lot of good vibes here. A lot of people are helping out the homeless people and providing oh, services sure. hey, and, and food. We, with the food tent, at first, it was only open to the people that occupy. But then, like myself, him, and others, had a lot to do with saying yo if you're hungry and you're on the streets come in and get something to eat you know yeah man and then like if you need if you need like a sleeping bag we'll give you a fucking sleeping bag if you need a shirt because you don't have a shirt come get a fucking shirt and all here's the thing it's all for free no money involved like see there's no price tag on living okay and there should not be a price tag on living because that is fucking bullshit yeah. But how can we help if they haul you off to jail? Sorry to sound naive, but I'm just trying to um, figure it out. Because I'll get out at one point. Yeah, it's not. Because are you It's guys, not about us. It's about, it's about everybody else. Gathering support, support, support and people, right? it's about gathering support yeah. and notice for yeah. what uh, we're trying to do. So you're kind of like sacrificial lambs in a sense for in the a, movement. In the sense, if you want to call yeah. us scapegoats, you can. I guess. Yeah. 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 And he eventually accomplished his means. Yeah, for sure. Look at Nelson Mandela. Yeah, yeah, yeah years and years, right? Malcolm X. Nelson that Mandela spent years in jail for pretty much nothing. Muhammad so, Ali. Thanks a lot.